Hello everyone, it's Chelsea from Paper Rock Tier Studio. Recently I was contacted by a company called In Love Arts that sells die cuts, thinlet type die cuts, and silicone stamps. And they probably have some other things. They have a lot of products on their site. They have really good prices. And they offered me free products in exchange for making this making a video using the free products. So I ordered a few things. The first thing that I really was interested in was this die cut that you can make a heart-shaped journal with. I wasn't sure how big it was. Um, you know, it's hard to tell on a website. I mean, you, they say, okay, blah, 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 inches, blah, 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 inches, but just really to visualize it, you have to see it. So I wanted to use this one as well as two others that I received. At the beginning of the video, you saw my whole, um, my whole layout of how many I got, which was a substantial amount. They were having a sale, so I got a pretty good deal um, on these die cuts. So what I'm doing is I'm using my um, Big Kick uh, die cutting machine with the dies that I received <clears throat> from In Love Arts. And I want to make covers for a little a book that I'm going to create using this die. And the first time I cut with it, I realized that it cuts, if you use it the way it comes, with the little small heart on this inside, it cuts a hole in it. See how these two are different? So I took some wire cutters <clears throat> and I trimmed out the heart that was in the center. And you see it right there as, as we're going here. And I can use it separately um, as a separate die that makes a heart, but it also makes a heart that fits perfectly on the journal. So then I could use the other piece. So basically I got two dies out of it. I could use the other piece to make the covers. So I'm using some um, heavier cardboard, not real heavy, but it's, it's, the, it's the envelopes that I get from stencil girl <laughs> they come in a in a fairly firm um, type of cardboard so that the stencils don't get bent and I have a lot of those so I cut two covers for my book and then I used various others and you'll you'll see me doing it along here um, various other papers to cut um, cover pieces for to cover the cardboard I mean I don't want it to look like cardboard right and then there's this, I had ordered this other die. You know, I really like spirals. <clears throat> Something about a spiral is really attractive to me. So I got this card background, um, you know, a rectangular shaped die that cuts out spiral pieces. And recently I had received some other um, die cuts from a, a friend in Happy Mail that have these interesting shapes, but I don't use them as a whole card. Um, you obviously could but I like to, to take apart those thin, interesting little shapes and use them in different ways in mixed media. So that's what I did was I, I just took a couple scraps and cut with that swirly um, rectangular background die and made these different swirly shapes. And I ended up using both the positive and the negative. Um, that one took a little bit of weeding and so did this dolphin. I've mentioned before that I, I think that the dolphin is my totem animal. I have a dolphin tattooed on my ankle. I really love dolphins. I love to watch them. I love to find them in the wild. If you ever go whale watching or something and you or just out on the ocean. And I'm, I'm always so very excited and just thrilled when I see dolphins. So when I saw this dolphin die cut, I thought, oh, that's perfect. I need that. So that is the third one I'm using in my project today. The other die cuts and the stamp set that I bought, I bought one little stamp set that had three adorable owls. Um, you'll probably see those coming up in other videos. I couldn't use everything that I got in one video because it was all, you know, it doesn't go together. But this dolphin die has swirls on it. Um, the background die that I have has swirls on it. And then I wanted to make this little album. I'm actually going to send it to a friend. Uh, I think she'll really like it because she likes water themes to mermaids and things like that. So I think she'll enjoy it. But this dolphin dye did require lots of weeding. Weeding is when you need to take apart little teeny tiny bits 
um, poke them out, uh, get, you know, get them separated. That one, that one took me some time to weed, but I got through it. <laughs> I made a couple different dolphins. I made a, a few different um, fronts and backs and then uh, insides. If you'll see later that you, you need to flip the die over. I mean, you need to flip the paper over the right way in order to make um, things go the correct way. Yeah, I wasn't thinking very well. So you'll see what I did, <laughs> but it's fine. So I cut out 10 pieces, 10 pages for the inside of the book from 140 pound watercolor paper. And that will be the inside pages of the journal. And now I'm working on the front and back covers. So this is the front cover. I, it's the first one that I cut and I do have the heart shape that got cut out of it. Um, and I'm going to use it later. I'm going to use all these pieces that I cut. I'm using uh, quick dry tacky glue and I could all, you could also use matte medium, which I'm not sure why I wasn't. I just decided to, to glue it, making sure that I smear around that glue all the way to the very edges of the cardboard to make sure that the covers for the, you know, to make it pretty, the covers for this ugly cardboard that I cut out, which of course are exactly the same size and shape because you get to die cut them instead of winging it with your scissors, <laughs> um, that they fit on there perfectly, that they're glued down all the way to the edges. Some of these papers were given to me recently in Happy Mail. Some of them are ones that I had and I wasn't quite sure um, what kind of medium were on all of them, even, even the ones that I made. I think that that one with the green probably has, I'm gonna say it's probably alcohol ink, but what if it wasn't, right? What if it was watercolor? It's on glossy cardstock. Um, and then these other ones that were given to me, I'm not sure, you know, are they water soluble or not? So I decided to make sure that I sealed everything, um, sealed it all down. So I got out my matte medium and as I'm decorating the front here, I am going to seal everything by putting matte medium over the entire surface. That way I'm sure that if it gets a drop of water on it and it does have watercolor paper inside, so it could be a watercolor journal for my friend or she could do mixed media or whatever she wants. But um, if water got on it, would it smear? So this is my Liquitex matte gel medium and I'm just gonna go over the entire thing uh, to seal it. And then I'm also going to use that same glue, medium, whatever to attach. And these, these little ones that I'm doing on the front here are actually the throwaway parts of that rectangular um, die cut. I'm sorry that I'm not on screen. Uh, I didn't adjust my camera pro properly. And then um, I just kind of put those down like curly waves. I think they're perfect for that. And then I put on the die cut that's been carefully weeded um, of the dolphin on the front. So then I'm thinking now I'm making the back, right? Okay, I'm going to decorate the back because that's going to be fun. I have these pieces I've cut and I want to make it interesting. And I thought that the front looked like it was a sunset or the sun going down and night starting. So I thought, oh, I'll make the back be the sun uh, shining. So I glue on this piece of the brighter blue that I had cut out and I find some more of those little bits and curls of things and um, actually end up using the scraps again. <laughs> it's kind of strange that I might actually like the throwaway parts of the die more than I like the other parts. <laughs> I don't know. I did use a couple of, of the, um, I think those skinny ones are the ones that actually go uh, that are actually part of the die itself. Anyway, I make a design on the back using the, the bits and pieces because I don't like to waste anything. Even if I didn't use all these little pieces in the project, I would probably still save them. Um, most of them probably still save them because I just, I like, I like the way they look. I like the shapes. And so I build up some waves 
um, again sealing the entire back with my matte medium and then I have a circular uh, punch out that has some orange on it and I make the sun shine and I'm all very excited about this this is going to be my front and back have you guys figured out what I did wrong yet <laughs> You'll figure it out. <laughs> so then, of course, I need to do my shadows and highlights because I just love doing that. I'm using some Fabric Estelle pit pins to make uh, shadows around my dolphin and here and there on my um, waves. And I'm blending that out with a water brush. It, you have a few seconds. It's India ink, but you have a few seconds in which you can blend it. And I think the water brush just blends it more nicely than blending it with your finger, although you can't. And remember, that is on a sealed surface. And remember, I sealed it all with matte medium, right? So the pit pins work great for this because it's a sealed surface. I go around the edges um, and shade that. I'm just going all crazy with the shading and putting pretty shades everywhere because I like it <laughs> and then of course I'll come in with my white Posca pin and put on some highlights also um, I give the poor little dolphin an eyeball because it doesn't have one right now there is a curl right there a little swirly curl right there but it, it needed just that felt like it needed a eyeball so I'm a, I'm using my white Posca pin which is an acrylic ink pen and also blending that out with the water brush and I'm going along I'm making my my back now I've got some different color pins but they're all from the same uh, pit artist brush pin set doing the same process you know blending highlights everything and I'm thinking it's going to be cool I get out an orange Posca pin because um, it's an acrylic paint pin and so it's more opaque. I draw some some rays coming out of the sunshine. Okay, it's day and night. Front and back, day and night. And it's cute. I'm thinking it's cute. And I'm just about to the point where I realize, oh no, I have to put some black in just to fix up his little eye and things. I realize now. Yeah that's two fronts <laughs> I didn't flip it the right direction when I was cutting and um, I ended up with two fronts so I decided that that cute little uh, sunshine was was the last page in the journal you know that's fine I did one of the pages in the journal I decorated a page for her so um, I flipped it over so that it will be going in the right direction and I have kind of a lighter color paper on the that was supposed to be the inside the liner of the book but it'll be fine I find uh, the heart that was originally cut out the first first die that I did I before I cut the die apart it cut out a, a heart and so I cut, cut out a different heart shape to put inside of it so I still have this one left over which matches the cover so that's going to work fine then I have this blue dolphin that was the first one I I had cut out and decided it was too dark for my cover so it's actually going to work great on my my back cover because it's all much lighter than the front cover I get out a couple colors of archival ink and sponge around the edges just to kind of darken up the edges of this white piece of paper because it is pretty white it has some swirls of colors on it it's a marbled paper and um, use the different colors with the sponge and since I sponged the back I got to sponge the front too so I went around the edges on the front with the the uh, turquoise color and now I have a front and a back <laughs> yeah so don't be like me Remember which direction your die is going when you're cutting so that you can know that you need a front and a back, not two fronts. It's, it's, it's a common thing that's going to happen. It's going to happen to everybody. It's, you know, not that weird. But I, of course, did my pen work on this one, adding some shadows around the heart. 
Um, I think this is a great die. This is going to be a fun way to make little books. Um, I'm wondering, I'm actually going to go back to the site and see if they have a different book die like this that's maybe a different shape. Maybe they have a circular one or a rectangle one. I don't know if they do or not. But it would be fun if they did because I would I would pick them up. They're very reasonably priced. <clears throat> so then to highlight the swirls, because I didn't completely weed out this blue one. I didn't take all the little swirls out. Um, I decided to use some uh, glitter glue. This is a Nouveau. It's a sample, actually, but it comes in a bigger bottle than this. <laughs> so don't think that's what you get when you pay whatever. Uh, some like sparkly diamond glaze type stuff. And then I added some on the front as well. And um, on, on my little stars, on the tops of my waves, I gave that stuff a good dry. And now I'm going to assemble the book. So I've got 10 pages of 140 pound watercolor paper. I've got the front and back, and I'm going to use some, some people call these D-rings, but these would actually, they're, they're round, small silver snap together rings. You could also tie it together with a ribbon, but I wanted it to easily open and shut. And also you could take a page out and work on it and then put it back in. You wouldn't have to leave it in the book. Then to decorate it and make it a little bit more fun, I added a couple pieces of ribbon in green and turquoise and then I decided what it needed was a journal charm so I got out some shrink plastic this is the frosted color there it comes in clear frosted and white probably black too um, there's lots of shrink plastic products out there and I'm going to use my dolphin die again and make a charm so I run it through my die cut machine and I, I already know that it's not going to cut through the swirls and things on plastic. It's just not going to. Um, maybe if I had some type of a mat or something and it could push harder, but I already know based on the paper um, that it's not going to. So I, I'm letting the swirls and things be embossed. So in order for them to stand out, I need to have something that goes down in there. So I get out my Marabou alcohol inks. I bought the whole set recently. And I use, I think it's lemon, sea green, and aqua blue or something like that. And I drip it on the front and hope that the ink goes down into the little swirls. I punch a hole in it so that I have something to attach it with. And then I'm just going to shrink it real quickly with my heat tool. This is an embossing heat tool. It will shrink. It gets hot enough um, to shrink plastic. And then I use an acrylic block to flatten it back out because as it's shrinking, it curls. So then I decide I need to color the back because now it just looks frosty white on the back. So I get the inks back out, drip some more on there, color it, and um, happy with my charm. I make a little um, wire uh, curled piece so that I can string my charm with some beads and attach it to my book. So you will see that. I hope you've really enjoyed this video and this uh, little project of making a heart-shaped watercolor journal using dyes from In Love Arts. Make sure you check them out. They've got great prices over there at their website. Links to all the products that you saw in the video will be included at the bottom underneath the video so that you can see the, the things that I got. Of course, if you love this, make sure that you give it a thumbs up. Leave me a comment or question below. Subscribe if you haven't already and be sure to turn on the notification bell so that you get a notification when I bring out a fresh new video. And of course, you can share this on any social media that you'd like to share it with. So now I'm just using my uh, different jewelry pliers to string beads and my charm on to some wire and then attach it to the book. So here's a flip through of the book and there will be pictures at the end. Thanks so much for watching. Bye-bye.